do about it. What, what's the follow up with, say, uh, a 16 year old say well okay we found little Johnny at 2 in the morning in the factory uh, we'll, we'll call from Wisconsin Mr. Grothman for five minutes thank you uh, we've had testimony before here regarding children who may be working uh, overtime maybe working late at night if your department finds children who you suspect may be here from another country which would indicate uh, maybe shouldn't be here uh, what do you do about it? What, what's the follow-up with, say, uh, a 16-year-old child who's working third shift? Uh, thank you, Congressman uh, Grotham. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, meet with you today. Um, as you know, protecting children from illegal child labor is, in fact, one of our top priorities. And in the Wage and Hour Division, uh, when employers are employing children in violation, our responsibility is to enforce the Fair Labor Standards Act. And so, Fundamentally, at the end of the day, employers have the responsibility for stopping illegal child labor, and we need to hold employers accountable. Okay, if, if, you, if, you, if you find a child like that, okay, what do you do with the child? So again, thank you, uh, Congressman uh, Gotham. We are focused on uh, holding employers accountable and ensuring that they're complying with the law. Yeah, what do you do with the child? I mean, if we have a, a child who is a minor, and working illegally, do we call their parents? Do we say, do you know your child was working at the uh, uh, L&M manufacturing plant at 2 in the morning? Do you contact the parents? So again, Congressman Grotham, we're responsible for enforcing the wage and hour laws and the child labor laws. But what we do do, because we know that children are particularly vulnerable, um, and we want to make sure, and it's a responsibility of everyone across the community well, to, hold, to make sure that we're protecting kids, we work very closely with community-based organizations. We work very closely with other types of agencies that provide services to make sure that kids do, have do access to services. Do you make any kind? Do you make an effort to find that person's parents to find out whether they're even living with their parents? So again, you don't consider that your responsibility. You, you just say, "Well, okay, we found little Johnny at two in the morning in the factory. Uh, we'll we'll call some other agency and we'll maybe send a nasty letter to the employer and." We, we just don't care if that 15-year-old even has a, a parent in the country. Is that your attitude? So, Congressman Gratham, I care very, very much, and I care very deeply about every child who's employed illegally in this country. And we, of course, work very closely with everyone who can provide services and meet the needs of those kids. Oh, oh, but we okay. also are holding employers accountable uh, 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 for employing uh, children illegally in the first place. Okay. Um, there was an article in the New York Times. The Biden administration insisted it was a high number. So let's say there's somewhere between 35,000 and 85,000 unaccompanied minors in this country. Uh, by, by that I mean don't, their parents aren't even here. And obviously some people are, is, they're living with somebody, somebody's making money off them. Does that concern you? I mean, I would think if I found somebody, maybe if they could barely speak English, working clearly illegally, e even if they were, I all accounts an American. Uh, child, I would call their parents and say, what's going on? Why is Johnny at such and such a place at 2 in the morning? Now, particularly in light of the fact that, according to the New York Times, tens of thousands of these minors have been lost. We don't even know where they are. Don't you think the bureaucracy has some duty to find out who's taking care of these kids or if their parents are anywhere to be seen? Thank you, uh, Congressman. You know, we recognize that many times um, there are children who are particularly vulnerable to child labor exploitation, and this could include, and recognize that this could include immigrant workers. Um, and you immigrant make no children. effort to contact their parents. I guess that's the final question. And, and uh, Congressman, I just want to I just want to say that our responsibility is to both keep these kids safe and also to make sure that employers stop employing children illegally in this country. Okay. Well. If you aren't counting their parents, I don't see how you're making an effort to keep them safe. But we'll switch to another topic. Independent contractors. We all know, or at least should know, people are independent contractors and love it. Uber drivers are an example of people who love their job and brag about how, money, how much money they're making and blah, 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 blah. Uh, your independent contractor rule, truckers would be another one, uh, would prevent these American citizens, who used to mean you were free to do kind of what you want, uh, uh, they, they love this independent contractor arrangement where they have a lot of freedoms 
as to how, how and when they're going to work, make a lot of money. Do you, does it bother you you're taking the freedom to enter into these contracts which the Uber, Uber drivers enter into? Does it bother you taking away from them, who should know what's best you know, for themselves, uh, the ability to work as an independent contractor? Thank you, Congressman. Um, we are focused on addressing misclassification of workers who should get the protections of the Fair Labor Standards Act, but we very much recognize that independent contractors are running their own businesses or in business for themselves and are really insurance important part agent, of the Insurance agent, does that bother you? If a smart PhD insurance agent, you take away him, his or her ability to operate as an independent contractor? So, Congressman, again, uh, in the Wage and Hour Division, we're focused on addressing misclassification of workers who have been misclassified as independent contractors, but we very much, and our new rule very much protects both employees under the Fair Labor Standards Act and independent contractors who are not covered by the Fair Labor Standards Act and are in business for themselves. The gentleman's time has expired. Uh ...closely with other types of agencies that provide services to make sure that kids do, have do access... You, you suspect may be here from another country. Uh, when employers are employing children in violation, our responsibility is illegally in this country. And we, of course, work very closely with everyone who can pull Okay, if you, if, you, if you find a child like that, okay, what do you child who's working third shift? Uh, thank you, Congressman uh, Grotham. Being children from illegal child labor is, in fact, one of our top priorities. And in the wage and hour division... Find out whether they're even living with their parents. So again, you don't consider that your responsibility. You, you just lawyers have the responsibility for stopping illegal child labor, and we need to hold employers accountable. From Wisconsin, Mr. Grothman, for five minutes. Thank you. Uh, we've had testimony before. Say, well, okay, we found little Johnny at two in the morning in the factory. Uh, we'll, we'll call legally. Do we call their parents? Do we say, do you know your child was working at the? Uh, do with the child. So again, thank you, uh, Congressman uh, Honorable. Um, and we want to make sure, and it's a responsibility of everyone across the community well, to hold back the parents. So again, Congressman Grotham, we're responsible for enforcing the way to make sure that we're protecting kids. We work very closely with community-based organizations. We work very What do you do with the child? I mean, if we have a, a child who is a minor and working illegal, we, we just don't care if that 15-year-old even has a, a parent in the country. Is that some other agency? And we'll maybe send a nasty letter to the employer. And